Good evening, everyone. Canada had to wait almost 10 days for it, but this morning the country claimed their first gold medal of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Rosie McLennan jumped to the top of the podium in the women's trampoline to claim Canada's first ever gold medal in the sport. Today in Mississauga, Ontario, 42 of the top bantam hockey players from across Canada hit the ice for the second annual All-State All-Canadian Mentorship Cup. It's a chance for young players to interact with coaches Taylor Hall and John Tavares learning more about nutrition, sports psychology and training. But it's a chance for scouts to identify talent early. It's hard to imagine that the Los Angeles Kings are only one win away from securing a berth in the Stanley Cup Finals. Something not many fans predicted this eight-seeded team would accomplish at the start of the playoffs. And today a win over the Phoenix Coyotes would complete their sweep and book them a ticket to their first Stanley Cup Finals in 19 years. First period, the Kings unsurprisingly on the rush, but Trevor Lewis has shot a stop by Mike Smith. The Kingston, Ontario kid doesn't want to go home yet, although Kingston is a beautiful place. Smith was fantastic early on, denying Mike Richards' stick side. He made 10 saves in the first Kings pressing, but Coyotes score. Nifty backhander from Shane Doan on the power play, his fourth. Yotes up 1-0. After two weeks of competition, ambition, success, and heartbreak, the London 2012 Olympic Games officially closed today. It was a different type of games for Canada. Out of the 18 medals won by our country, only a single one was gold. But as Dave Naylor reports, our country's summer Olympic athletes were inspired by Vancouver 2010, Canada's Golden Games. After taking home the FA Cup final, Chelsea looked to notch the ultimate title. The UEFA Champions League against Bayern Munich. Captain John Terry facing a suspension for his red card against Barcelona. Second half, Bastian Schweinsteiger cross from corner of the box. Thomas Mueller connects with a header pass. Peter Cech right below the crossbar. Bayern Munich gets on the score sheet first. Time winding down, Juan Matt across from the corner. DDA Drogba redirects the header past goalkeeper Manuel Neuer for the shock equalizer. Scoreless until the third period at the blue line. Morgan Klimchuk feeds Chandler Stevenson on the right wing. The Washington Capitals draft pick weaves in and out of the defenders, putting a snapshot behind Tegan Satcher. one nothing blue team on the power play. For bottom two, no one on and one out. You know, Escobar laying down the bunt, dribbles to third, but look at the play by Machado, bare hands it and has the arm to get the out at first. Good on Mark Reynolds making the stretch to make the catch. Regina Red Sox at home today on this beautiful afternoon hosting the Weyburn Beavers. Red Sox looking to build on last night's 2-1 victory over Yorkton and keep their perfect record alive. Bottom of the first scoreless, but Jeremy Donaldson changes the donut with a grounder pass first. Gets him on the base. Hard to tell here, but it gets Chris Unterreiner home, scoring the first run of the day. Brendan Tamman and Corey Chamberlain don't just see him as someone to make big plays, but someone to lead this team. For the 23-year-old, an increased responsibility will be difficult, but nothing the University of Western Ontario grad can't do. The Humboldt Broncos will now advance to the Anavec Cup to play the MJHL champions, the Portage Terriers. Now, based on the Broncos' win tonight, both the Broncos and the Terriers have automatic berths to the RBC Cup. And although they'll be playing each other in the Anavec Cup, looking to avoid injuries and to rest their starters, both teams will be looking to enter the RBC Cup on a positive note. Julie Stewart Banks, TSN, Weyburn. While the 2012 NHL draft wraps up here in Pittsburgh, the work is far from over. Scouts are already looking towards next year's 2013 draft, with many of them even scouting tonight. It may seem incredible to travel across North America and Europe, spending countless hours inside thousands of hockey rinks, but it's a small price to pay to hoist the Stanley Cup. Julie Stewart Banks, TSN, Pittsburgh.